click that button. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Just click it. Click it right now. Yeah. Yo, what's up YouTube? Check this out. Check this out, man. So, I wasn't even gonna make a video on this because it was something so small, but I'm like, man, what I what I come to realize after having my Lexus, I did so many small things that the change over time was just so dramatic and small little things. So I said, I'm just gonna make a video on everything, man. Well, I already done this, but I ordered the key fob. I found this key fob on Amazon. I think it was like 80 bucks or something like this. I saw it. Well, I ended up looking on AliExpress and finding the same key fob. And I kid you not, the picture did not do justice. And the picture, I was like, man, if this key looks like this picture, it's going to be great. Like good as hell, but I only paid like 20 bucks. It was like 15 or 17 bucks, honestly. It might have been $18. But check this out, man. I put the key inside already. Look at that, man. Look at that, bro. Look at that right there, bro. You got red, black, and I think it's a silver or chrome looking color. I wanted that old red key. I mean, all right, now this this is nothing but a mockery for those little Hellcat owners. So, this is the real red key now. This is the real red key. And you can see it's like that, uh, that leather, that we call it preferred leather or whatever. And John, man, this thing is beautiful, man. I'll go ahead and link this in the uh, description so y'all can see that. And on top of this, you know, I got that old smeared and rubbed off parking button for my park on my um on my parking shifter, right? Well, this is the shifter button. I ordered this off of Alibaba as well, AliExpress. And I was like, a parking button? Like, they're just making it a... So, I guess this is an issue that people had trouble with before. So, that somebody that somebody made a little product just for the parking button. So, I mean, it looked like it pops on pretty pretty simple. So, I'm going to try to go ahead and see what I can do to get it out. I'm going to try to read up on it first. But, yeah, this is the parking button, man. Get rid of that old cheesy smeared off button that the thumb smeared most of the writing off. And we're gonna see, we're gonna take it from here, man. So, be right back with this. Started. I don't have a clue on what I'm doing, but I understand what I'm doing because I'm looking at this button right here. And I see the tabs. There's tabs on the top. It kind of slides down in the bottom. The top is where your tabs are. So, I don't know if they push in or away from the button, away from the, um, the shifter. So let's do this. I got a point two and I got a fine screwdriver, a little small flathead. I'm go ahead and just go straight down. Try to pop it. See how that works. I'm trying from the back. I'm trying from the side. Right from the side, it was a lot easier. Let's do this. That was easy, really easy. Nothing broken. What I did was I just tried each side, you know, just took my time. I didn't go too hard on either side. Applied a light amount of pressure and popped it right up. Now, I'm gonna pop this one right in. It's in, just like that. Tell you right now, I wish every job get that easy, man. Look at that. That's the old button out. Out with the old, in with the new one. I went with the red button. I like that red button. Set, set, set itself off. Don't blend in like little. I like little trim accessories. But anyway, if y'all like what y'all seeing, man, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Follow for more videos. Check, check the description, man. I make sure I put the links in the description. So y'all have access to the key and to the replacement parking button if y'all need any one, even both of those pieces. So again, 
subscribe.